Two done. So I now gotta take on most likely Rayhan. I can't tell why I wouldn't be Rayhan next. High horsepower. 95. Use your fiercely attacks and target using the entire body. 95 versus 60? Um, yeah. Hello everyone, this is Rick, and we're here to play some more Pokemon Sword. In the previous episode, we uh, took on Olena at the top of Chairman Rose's tower. We found out that Chairman Rose has a plan to kind of stop some devastating thing happening in a thousand years from now. Um, and he's going to stop at nothing pretty much to take, get that plan done. Uh, we also came back to the tournament though here to take on the finals. And we found out we have to take on all the gym leaders again. Not all the gym leaders, but a few of the gym leaders again. Um, we started off with actually taking on Bede, the new fairy type gym leader. Um, unexpected match. He wasn't actually part of the tournament. Or he wasn't part of the tournament, but just kind of stepped in wanted to... Uh, kind of prove himself, I guess, against me. Uh, we then faced the actual tournament and we faced off against Nessa, the water type gym leader. And uh, we, defe we defeated her pretty easily, I would say. A um, little bit of a challenge, nothing crazy. Um, we found out um, the tournament brackets and we're gonna take on, on the fighting type, uh, I can't remember her name now, the fighting type gym leader though. So I'm deciding to start with Corviknight. Um, I kind of want to start with somebody else, to be honest with you. So we got fighting type. Okay, so what could I use? Fighting. I'm actually gonna start Start with Rillaboom, just because I want to save Corviknight for the for her, for her final Pokemon, um, because it's definitely gonna be super effective against it. So I can use Rillaboom to kind of take on the weak, the earlier Pokemon. I should say, I shouldn't say weaker, but the earlier ones, to at least let leave Corviknight healthy for the final battle. Which at least on the gym leader was Machamp. It's probably in the same here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals. Are the four remaining challengers? Which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger, Bede, stormed the stage, but Rick was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Gallar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for gym leader Bede, everybody. I promise you, my tax will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. Ball. Kalucha! Okay. Fighting and flying. So that's good. That's not good, actually. It's your flying type. Alright, that's fine. Um, I think I might have one win on me, but this is where I show you what I can really do when I'm serious. Alright, let's go for... Actually, let's go for a knockoff. Flying Chris. See, that's not good. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. Go for a knockoff. You do not have an item on you. Okay. Let's go for a double hit. If you survive this. I should survive. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That is okay. Because you're flying tight, I'm actually going to go into Bolton. Little, little doggy. Okay, we're gonna go with a spark. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. All right, Corvin, I level 57, good. A Phalanx, okay, you're pure flying, uh, pure fighting. Um, so let's actually go into Corviknight. I'm not thinking, I don't think I'm gonna Dynamax yet. I think it's too early to Dynamax. I think I can take on a Phalanx so without Dynamaxing. You should have, what, five of one? I keep forgetting to look. I'm just checking. Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay. So, we're gonna go with the drill pack. Can I one-shot it? I can't. Okay, that's fine. Rock Tomb, that's not good. Actually, it's neutral because I'm still there. Oh, good point. My speed fell, though. Uh, let's go for Pluck. Ah, full restore. Okay. That's fine. I get a free hit here anyways. Didn't do quite enough. Okay, let's go for another puck. Close combat. It's also going to be neutral. Because I'm still typing. Super fast and still typing, but it's uh, not very fast and it's flying typing. I never thought of that. The fine was going to be neutral, not, 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 uh, not very fast. Anyway, that's fine. Grab lock. Okay, I'm 
the stand. I don't think this thing's gonna do a ton of damage on me. Oops, I don't wanna, no, 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 not that one. So I'm actually going to use, uh, where are you? You are 60 some HP away. So it's actually, it's a super potion on you. Heal you up, take a hit, and then I think we're gonna Dynamax. Octolock, Octolock. So that just keeps me from running, right? Yes, that's perfect. My defense fell, and special defense fell, which is fine. But at least now I know that I was able to heal freely. So that's good, so I can take more damage now. Okay. So I'm gonna Dynamax, because I have a potential to one-shot the next three Pokemon. So I'm gonna take that chance here. And if not, I do have the Pokemon to take on the Machamp. Assuming it is the monster. That's airstream. Okay. Boom. That's one. One down, two to go. Okay, Bolton's 58. Surfetch. Oh, maybe it's a Surfetch, not a Machamp. No, when the last time she had Surfetch, she didn't Dynamax it. She Dynamaxed the uh, Machamp. This is also a Gigantamax, and maybe it's different. No, okay. No, they do They do save the Gigantamax till the end. Okay, that's two. Good. So I can at least send up... She'll send up the Machamp next, and at least I'll be able to do some serious damage to it. I might not be able to one-shot it once it Dynamaxes, or even potentially Gigantamaxes. Uh, I'm not... I don't know if I'll be able to do too much damage to it. So she actually like Gigantamax this thing or just Dynamax it? I don't remember if I was paying attention last time. Yeah, it's your Gig Gigantamax. They so should have given him more arms. You know? He's known as the four arm beast, but you like. She gave him like six or eight arms to with the giant axe. So a little bit interesting. Okay, do a bit faster. Oh, not quite a one shot. All right, that's fine. It's very weak health. Um, I should be able to take it out. Max Flare. I survived. How did I survive that? Weird. All right, sunlight turns hard. Okay, so she has a fire type move. Damn. All right, so let's just go for a drill pack. Pick it up. Perfect. There you go. And that was a crit. All right. So you're done. So I'm now gonna take on most likely Rayhan. I can't tell why I wouldn't be Rayhan next. High horsepower. 95. User fiercely attacks the target using his entire body. 95 versus 60? Um, yeah. Alright. Your strength nearly made me want to turn the run in my bare feet. Bay has been defeated! John Drake has shown his skill! Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoy battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I could, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers that have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will be in no time, so stay in those seats, folks! Yeah, right on, of course. Doesn't surprise me. Eh, sorry, itchy. Doesn't surprise me. Whoa, Contender Rayon gloriously defeated Contender Ray's peers. Sorry. <laughs> Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Reggie. I thought my bro could get revenge from me, but he lost the Rayon. You, you look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, Sis. Rayon's just that strong. And I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. 
Alright, I get it. But that's exactly what I wanted to be to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting you to win, Rick. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wave just before the final pitch. Sorry. Ah, that phrase. Rayhan's waiting for you to go on the pitch. We're looking forward to right. <laughs> Alright, Rayhan. He is dragon. So, dragon. Okay. Wait. What is the relationship between dragon and fairy? I gotta check that. I gotta double check that. Uh, okay, let me just double check that here. Go type chart. Alright, so dragon and fairy. So, dragon doesn't affect fairy, but fairy is neutral to dragon. Okay, that's all I need to know. So, dragon doesn't affect fairy. So, I could go into Grimmsnarl, because you're fairy type. But I can actually keep you in the back burner just for that reason to take on later. So, I'm going to start with, let's see, dragon, dragon, dragon. Dragon is good against itself. And that's it. Okay. But it's not very effective against steel. Ooh, okay. Okay. So it's not very effective against steel. Okay, so let's go in. Let's keep let's start with Copper Aja. Okay, let's start with Copper Aja so that their, their attacks don't do too much damage to me. Alright. Alright. Alright then. Let's do this. Here it is, the final, last match of the finals. You will earn, who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, challenger Rick? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The tamer of dragons, Rayon. You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival and he chose you. So I've got to pr first prove I'm better than you if I'm meant to be him. I've reworked my whole team and now we're all geared up for our one-on-one -on -one battles. You think you might be thinking that you've beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Rehan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Oh yeah, wasn't it double battles in the gym? I forgot about that. But it's fine, because now it's one on one battles this time, so. Oracle. What's your dragon to know? Um I'm actually going to stay in. Drought. That's drought. Because it's something like burning real harsh. I'm actually going to stay in and go bulldoze. Wait. Didn't I teach you high horsepower? Or is that somebody else? Did I say no? I bet you I said no. Okay, well, damn it. Okay. I might have to go back to that move relearner in the Pokemon Center at some point later. I guess after the tournament here, done. Damn it. I must have said no accidentally. Okay, now I'm asleep. Uh, Turtonator. Water, fire. I thought you were a freaking dragon type gym leader. Are you dragon? Wait. Wait, I don't know. Wait, what are you, Terminator? Her. Fire dragon. Oh, okay. So, fire dragon. That's not good. Um. Copper is the only one that's good. Copper is the only one that can actually take this thing on. Ish. Okay. I'm actually gonna use an awakening. Please set up. Please set up. Okay, good. You did set up. Okay, shell trap. Shell trap didn't work. We're gonna go bulldoze. Which should be high horse. Shell Trap only works for physical moves, right? Oh no, it did work. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, actually physically hitting them, right? It just went for Shell Trap. That's all it's doing. 
That's not working. Alright. That was like an easy battle. Okay, what we got next? A flygon. Dragon flying. No. Is it dragon flying? I swear it's dragon ground. Man, I don't know my Pokemon apparently. Uh I don't care if I'm looking this up. Fly gone. Ground dragon. Okay, it's not fly. Ground and dragon. Okay. So Ground and Dragon. I'm actually gonna go into Grimmsnarl right now. Um, yeah. Because I think I want two. If I think I'll two or three. I'm not paying attention. I'm going battle by battle, not overall battle. What do we got? What do we got left? Three. Okay, so I take out two. So. I'm going to Dynamax and go Max Dark Ball. I'm going to Dynamax Grimzarno right now. I might be doing this one turn too early. But that's okay. Or one Pokemon too early, I should say. But I can pretty sure I can one-shot the Flygon. And then move on from there. It is faster. Sandstorm, that's fine. Not worried about Sandstorm. Winds below. Stream forward. Sandstorm. I'm not worried about Sandstorm. Starfall. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna say I should one shot Flygon. That shouldn't be a problem. What do you got next? Quick Eight, Corbinite, Ruling 57. Stop there by Sandstorm. That's fine. Gudra. Okay, you water dragon. Go for another star uh star ball. Max star ball, I should say. Then I one shot the Gudra. Perfect. Okay. You know, who's your who's your ace? Who's your gigantamaxing one? Talk to the Sandstorm. Oh yeah, Geraldin. Yeah, it makes sense. Your steel. Want to beat me on? So first, I'll beat you. Your steel dragon. So it's just effective, not super effective. Um, that's okay. I'm still gonna go for it. Giant building of a thing. Oh, literally a skyscraper. Is it faster than me? It is. Damn it. That's gonna hurt. That's too effective. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I need to do a ton of damage here. A ton. That's not a ton of damage. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. We're gonna go into play rough. It's gonna kill me though. That's fine. Okay. That's still that's still has two turns of it done. Only has one turn left. So I'm probably gonna go into something that's Is steel and dragon. It, I don't want to risk Copperage yet. So I want to do Bulldoze on it. Well, I want to do high, high horsepower, but apparently I didn't do that. I want to do Bulldoze on it. But I think I'm going to go. I've not, I've only thing, only thing to perfect is Bulldogs. But because I, I want to waste its one last turn, I think I'm going to Bolton. 
No. Let's go into Rillaboom. Let's go into Rillaboom. And hit this thing with a knockoff. See if it has an item on it as well. I don't think it does, but you never know. It's the only thing that's just regular effective. And waste... Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Just waste this last turn, basically. Take it down. Okay, good. Good, good. I survived. Alright. So now, I'm going to leave Rulaboom in, of course. So they don't want to hide hearts or anything. But now that it's back to normal, um, once if, if Rulaboom does go to the tank, then I can go into Paparazzi and hit the bulldoze. So we're going to go for Jump Beating just because it's Stab. It might actually do more than damage to knock off it did. It's not very effective, but it's also Stab. It did nothing. Okay. Wow. Body press. Okay, then let's just go for a knockoff and then knockoff did more damage. Yeah, I think it did a little bit more damage, so okay. That's fine. Ruben's gone. Ruben's down. So now we go to Copperaja and hit this thing with a bulldoze. Bulldoze. A body press. What type is body press? Wait. Wait. What is body press? That's a new Gen 8 move, it doesn't even show up in my app. Oh man. I don't know what type of move is it, steel? No, it can't be steel. It was super effective with Copper Aja. So it's gotta be ground? Fire? Fighting? Probably fighting. Oh lord, okay. Oh, this is not good. This is not not good at all. Um. Okay, so if it is, if it's fighting, it's going to Corviknight. Just because if it's fighting, I need to know if it's fighting or not. So if it's fighting, it'll be neutral on you. And we're going to go for, I guess we'll go for Drill Tech. Man. What did I use to kill this thing last time? Okay, body press is neutral. So it's fighting. Move. It's gotta be a fighting move. Just will this thing down as much as I can? Man. Am I actually going to lose? Because all you've done is body press. So I don't even know what type of move you have. Fortnite done. Um, wow, I got two Pokemon left. Okay. I was gonna say, I wanna try to revive somebody, but there's no point. He destroys Copper Aja, who's the only thing I super effective move on against him, so. There's no point. I'm going to go for Nuzzle. I'm faster already, but that's fine. I'm going to be paralyzed at least. Right? This is paralyzed. Okay, body press still. Okay. And then we're going to go for Crunch, because it's just effective, not not very effective. It'll at least do neutral damage. Okay, it's not stab, but it's neutral damage. Okay, so... Okay, this might not be good. Um, it might fully restore it. You want a good battle, here's a good battle. Alright. Get this thing with overdrive. Yes. Oh my god. Thank you. Ooh. 
That was a close one. Losing in the final is pretty rough. Wasn't maybe to take a quick shot to remember by. <laughs> Challenger Rick sees his victory. A lot of the Pokemon have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us. Beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show there's always someone younger coming up. Reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 89, Challenger Rick, has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. Oh my god. Alright, the big one's finally here, eh? I just came to cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? You reckon I should cheer for Rick, too, eh, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together, way back at Postwood. Postwood. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. So would there have been a really boom there if I would have chosen a different starter? Okay, so it's just the final champion battle now. So like I said... I need Toxtricity, I need Bolton for the Charizard. So I'm gonna start with Toparaja, just cause he's been powerhouse to me. Um, I think I'm actually gonna end the episode off here. Um, I don't want to, it's gonna be a shorter episode, but I don't want to go into the final battle right now. I wanna wait till the next episode for that. Um, but let's, so let's just quickly use Galaxia here. Health Fibber, base HP. Might as well give Cockroach a little more HP. Genius Feather, feather uh, base, special attack. That's gotta go to Toxtricity. Uh, special defense. Let's put on Grimmsnarl. Why not? Uh, speed. We'll give that to Bolton. What? Well, then can't use it. Okay. We'll give it to... Corbin. Grimmsnarl? Okay. Weird. In the next episode, I guess we'll go and take on the champion. Uh, take on Leon, and um, it might be the finale. I'm not certain. There might be some more storyline stuff afterwards to do. I'm not certain exactly what's going to happen. But So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below. What you just thought of the video? What you just listened to in the future? Hope you guys had a fantastic day, and don't forget, always be awesome.